a very good evening to everybody who's got as little of a life as possible to be watching my videos. But you know I appreciate it. So a big, big shout out to all my subscribers. All you really cool people. Anyway, tonight I'm on a ride. We'll see how we go. Um, the weather is looking atrocious. But it's a, I don't know, it's a reasonable night. It's hugely windy. I'm fully expecting to get blown over here. Wind, blow me over, go. Couldn't even do it. It couldn't even do it. I don't know, the wind sort of died out a little bit. Anyway, back on track. I am off to a MSR or Melbourne Street Riders pre-meet for one of the highway meetups. However, because the weather's looking like it's gonna go so dodgy very shortly, um, I might just go to the pre-meet, go meet some people, see if I can wrangle up a few, a few guys and maybe go out in the city and do something. I don't know, we'll see, we'll see. But anyway, I am doing a bit of a dual camera test. I have my GoPro Hero 3 Black Edition, no less. Um, just mounted. I don't know if you'll be able to see it on the rear right hand fairing on my bike. Pointing directly at my exhaust. So hopefully when I do this... Uh, couldn't get one going. The bike's not warm enough. Anyway, hopefully when I do big backfires and get big blue flames coming out the back, I'll be able to get a few shots of that, which should be cool. What is up with this weather? It's just all died out. I reckon it's the eye of the storm. It's just going to turn into a shitville hurricane in like 10 minutes. I have no idea whether a rider's life is turning up or not. I hope he does. Because wherever he goes, he always draws a big crowd for some reason. And it's always good to get motorbike riders together. You know, safety in numbers. Keeping together, it's all, it's all part of the package, really. Should I go this way? Or should I go that way? I will go. I'm gonna piss this guy right off, watch this. Yo, oh, he's pissed. Don't know if you can tell or not, but I still haven't got around to putting my muffler back on. Which is a good thing, because... As I said on my Facebook page, I have not had a single incident where a car has not seen me. Where I've been completely invisible on the road. Everyone knows where I am on the road with my muffler off. I've never had a single smidzy incident. And if you don't want to know what a smidzy in it is, a smidzy is, it stands for, sorry mate, I didn't see you. If you're looking at putting an aftermarket muffler on your bike because you think it's a little bit quiet and you have problems with other road users not seeing you, don't think twice about it. Just put an exhaust on that you think sounds good that makes a little bit of noise, gets you a bit more visible on the road, and audible, and you, you will notice a difference with how other road users, um, oh, Michelle Bridges, oh man, I would motorboat her biceps, I just said that, didn't I, that's bad. Fuck off, you stupid hook turns! Come oh, on, look, he's right there. I just did all this work tightening stuff up on my bike because I noticed since I've had the muffler off, 
the extra reverberation through the bike has shaken little screws and bolts loose. <laughs> and um, I had all these rattles coming through the bike and all these all these buzzing noises, all these vibrations. I'm going, oh, what's going on? My bloody bike's falling to pieces. So I've just had the bloody headlight off, tightening screws up behind the headlight. Yeah, so it's high maintenance, but it's all good fun. I was really like, I was seriously excited about tonight. Since I first saw the um, saw the event on the MSR Melbourne Street Riders Facebook page, ever since I saw that, I was like, oh yeah, gotta get the bike ready for that. Gotta get myself ready. Got the gotta get the cameras ready. And um, <coughs> oh, oh, sorry, I just coughed inside your head. Then how did that feel? And uh, then the weather turns to shit. Like I was devastated when I saw. Oh, just at about lunchtime today when I started feeling the wind coming on, I'm going, oh, this isn't good. This is bad. This wind better fuck right off or I am going to be pissed. But, I mean, right now, right now it feels good. It's like ideal riding weather right now. Come on, stay green, stay green, stay green, stay green. Oh, yeah. She's not doing real good backfires tonight. Probably because it's a bit colder. Oh well. Oh, bloody hell. There's bloody cops everywhere. I ride past really slow. Oh, I don't like doing this. Because I know, for a fact, my light is going to go green before theirs. They're going to hear me go past, and they'll probably go whoop whoop. Like, I'm properly nervous at the moment. I'm doing... No, I'm... I guess I'm doing nothing else wrong but not having the muffler on, so I've got no idea what the penalty is for that. Hey, there we go. Yeah, you lost out on a big ticket, buddy. Major Collision Investigation Centre. What a wanky name. Seriously. Oh, Iron Man's in his onesie. I didn't want to wear mine because it was like a parachute when I put it on. Oh, he's going to ream me now for not wearing one. I feel bad for him. I feel like such a dick. I feel like going home and just getting it. Oh. You ended up wearing it. Oh, I didn't want to wear mine because it was like a fucking parachute when I first put it on. And I was worried about the wind picking me up. <laughs> Looks good, man. Oh, that's good. So, uh, this is turning kind of dodgy because there's a, I don't know, there's a bunch of people here I don't know. Rider's life hasn't turned up. Iron Man turned up, then disappeared. Um, riding cage hasn't turned up. And uh, I don't know if any of these guys are going to be going to the highway meet or not. I mean, I wasn't planning to go. I was planning to, you know, go out to the city with, uh, with a few people that turned up, and no one has, so I don't know. Well, I reckon that would have to be one of the most unsuccessful meetups I've ever been to. That was just... I don't know. Iron Man showed up, and um, then he took off. Then it started raining. Well, it started raining before he took off, and no sign of a rider's life. No sign of riding cage or anyone else. But I have a little bit of good news, at least. My first little celebrity moment. Had a dude, um, I was walking back to my bike. I put my helmet on. Had a guy that was sort of looking at me going, hmm. Then all of a sudden he goes, Ah, oh, you twisted throttle? I go, yeah. And he's like, oh yeah, good to meet you. And goes, shake my hand. So that was cool. You know you're doing well when that happens. Yeah, so I'm, I'm quite a bit disappointed. If you can't tell by the tone of my voice.
not. Why is that light orange? Why is that light going red? There is no one crossing. What the fuck? Seriously. Really? You're red. There's a woman up there crossing. You're not on the crossing, love. Get the fuck off the road. Oh, just fired it. That was good. That made me feel a little bit better. Oh God. Wet roads, wet tram tracks. It's the worst thing. If you're, if you're interstate or overseas, you don't know what it's like riding on tram tracks, unless you're in San Francisco, obviously. I don't know. I don't know what other country uses trams or trolleys as they other, they're otherwise called. The GoPro, that's a huge disappointment because I was hoping to get some good low light footage tonight and some footage of big backfires and other bikes and other riders doing cool things and then doing a little, you know, just a nice cruise past the cars and getting some nice footage of the cars. But it was the ride that never was. And it was just very, very disappointing. So now I guess I'm going home and either watching movies or playing massive amounts of PlayStation. Which is no good. I don't want to have to do that. Or maybe I can just abuse people on Facebook for not coming. That always makes me feel better. If you're not happy with something, take it to the internet. Oh man, that guy in the street sweeper is hooking it. Oh, and that one. I swear they're going to have a race when they pull up at the next set of lights. I should follow them, get them revved up. This whole night has just turned to shit. Fuck you, weather! Fuck you! Cop that tunnel, bring you down. It is just raining and raining and raining and it's just no fun for anyone. Ah, oh, but tell you what, I bet the guys in the cars at Essendon are loving it. They are going to be skating and doing skids and the cops are going to be riding tickets and it'll be good fun to watch I reckon. Bloody rubbish trying to assault me from the side. Why is it? I put this question to YouTube, why is it? that whenever something like that is flapping around in the breeze in front of you, why does it always veer towards your vehicle? Why is it? I had this plastic bag the other day that was, fl that was sort of just floating around in the wind. Oh, good day. How are you going? What a knob. What a douche pot. Catch up to this guy. He's, he's fair hooking. Yeah, any day. Uh, anyway, oh my god, the wind. And he's gonna turn right anyway. What was the point of bloody blasting past me, you fucking dickhead? I had this plastic bag that was floating around in the wind in front of me, and it went to the left. So I veered right to get out of the way of it. Then it went to the right. So I veered left to get out of the way from it. Then I veered left. It was like it was trying to hit me. This plastic bag was trying to commit suicide. I was on my bike. What would happen if that plastic bag wrapped itself around my head, around my helmet, I couldn't see, and died? Imagine having that on your gravestone. Assaulted by plastic bag. That'd be a real tragedy. Oh man, now I've got to go wipe my bike off and do all that. But I fair, I bid you adieu. Hopefully I'll be able to get a good ride up later. Sometime in the future. And hopefully I can get as many people joining me as possible. Goodbye. <laughs>